Hi and welcome back. No, this is not one of my paintings. Well, it is mine in as far as I'm the happy owner of it. But this is my Christmas gift from my niece. She's in ninth grade and she took an art class and she decided she liked making paintings where she kind of scrape um, acrylic onto canvas with a palette knife. And she's very productive and I was allowed to pick a couple of paintings for Christmas. And uh, this is one of those uh, that I painted, uh, picked. <laughs> I didn't paint it, sadly. But I, I quite like what she does and I think uh, for her age I think it is quite unique that she has already settled on that this is her style. And, um, she sometimes do these things where it almost looks like something. This is like an abstract landscape painting. And um, yeah, really happy about this. And she inspired me to, to actually give acrylics a go again. So let's do an acrylic haul. This I picked up in a local store and quite frankly if I can't find the receipt I'm gonna hand it back because that was a piece of overpriced stuff. Uh, it's a stay wet palette. I have wanted one for a while but come on this was super expensive and it's just uh, a really thin plastic set. Here's the what you do is you have a reservoir piece of paper with a, another piece of paper on top uh, that is semi permeable and you wet the bottom one and put the other one on top the semi permeable on top and then you put your paint on it and acrylic paint and then you can put the lid on so it stays wet while you take a break or something um, the idea is good but I think for what I paid for it, it, it was insane. And um, for what I get, it is stupid. So, um, Dayline Rowney. Uh, I, don't, I haven't looked at what they cost other places, but here it is definitely much too expensive. It was like 45, 46 euros or 50 euros, something like that. Now this is kind of a big mess because I'll just show you my box of acrylic paints and not all of it is new. I haven't sorted it out yet. That old gesso isn't. So I showed you the my Mary acrylics on a video. I'll put a link. That's one of those that I have. This one is actually a Pepeo Mars Black matte um, acrylic but it's made for um, actually I'm not sure if this is Pibio it's a private label from Pendua I thought it was Pibio because Pibio makes most of their private label stuff um, yeah that was the Mamera Acrylico that I really like here I got an old bottle or not old it's a year and a half old Vallejo uh, acrylic artist fluid color and I prefer my acrylics a little runny because um, yeah I'm used to liquid paints and I later got a, another Vallejo but this is the acrylic studio and I got this in titanium white but then I've been adding some samples here. This is Amsterdam standard series from Royal Talents and they make also um, larger tubes but I have bought some small 20 milliliter test tubes here. Just little samplers. I'm gonna make a video where I kind of swatch out all of them or some of each brand and compare them a bit 
and they also have some plus and stuff and this is kind of a clear paint uh, you can see the paint through the tube but uh, it has a, a purple sheen to it if you put it on something dark it was um, <laughs> I, I was in a hurry when I bought that I didn't notice this is a um, Naples yellow and I thought I had gotten a, like a white or a off-white when I took the pearlescent one I didn't look at I got four tubes of Winsor Newton Galleria and um, these were very good priced at a lo local supermarket they got quite a good deal of all these tubes um, and uh, I haven't tried them out much but if they're good, I, I might use that as a base paint or something. Um, here's another no-name brand. And I actually bought two tubes of acrylic uh, uh, academic acryl color from uh, Schminke. This is only one of them. This is the Thalo Blue. I wonder where I put the other. It's weird. It's right here. It's sitting next to the box. So I got Prussian blue, which is not a Prussian blue, but I'll get back to that at some point. And a Thalo blue. I'm trying to just get a few tubes of different colors um, to test out. But that was uh, kind of what I've got in the past month and a half, two months or so. But I'm not done. Yes, there's of course the, but I showed that already. Got the box from Amazon today, in two seconds. I'll take the box away, it's too close. There are two things in here. Box and a box and a box. It's a box and a box. Sorry. So, this one actually has to do with my my niece. And it's, I have to open it because it's poked a hole in it. I don't think you can break what is inside. I'm curious also. I have bought her a set of different shaped palette knives on Amazon. There's supposed to be nine in here. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. So here's all kinds of funny shapes on um, that could maybe give her some other options when she is uh, when she's painting I'll just have to get it up to her she lives quite a far away from here and here's another box are going to be in heaven with all that cardboard. So what I bought was a 10 set of Liquitex acrylic paints and they come in this plastic box which is nice because I like to have boxes and stuff for um, my paints. That is kind of nice, there's a handle on it. Necessarily carry it around a lot, but oh, this smells of paint in here. So this set comes with a set of nylon brushes. They're kind of small, but that's okay. It, uh, it was in need of details. And then there's different colors of paint. I'll take this too. 
So here is a marsh black. A fur number. Primary red. Should be a magenta. Kind of interesting. There is no uh, pig oh, yeah, pigment information here. Surprise PV19 magenta. Here's a Thalo blue. So they call it primary blue. That's okay. A yellow with no name on the front. This is definitely wrong. It says PV19 on the tube. But it says primary yellow down there. I think they printed it wrong. That's a misprint. Interesting. So, what a yellow it is. I can look that up. And yay, a green. Hooker screen, that's not the worst. Mix of different pigments. There's a thalo green, a black, and a yellow mixed in that. Titanium white. I don't know, titanium white. It's nice they give you two whites because they are kind of something you need a lot of and a yellow oxide which is like an yeah it's a yellow ochre really and there's a, a thing to put the tubes in they just had all come out of it so have them stand up in there and we have a color chart so let's see what that says Here's all the information about the colors. So it doesn't matter that it wasn't printed so well, uh, that yellow tube. You can see all the names in three languages, the pigment information, the light fast information, and the transparency information, and the color number. That's nice. That will go in my binder. I quite like proper color charts where you can see what they produce and what is in the paint in terms of pigments. So yeah, that was just the haul. I'm not going to go into a lot more details right now because I want to get things sorted out and found some paper and stuff before I start to swatch some things out. I'm not going to swatch out every color I got. Um, like these primary colors I, I will save because I got primary colors from other brands. So no need to open, crack open tubes of paint that I already got. But some of the others maybe. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and all that good YouTube stuff. See you around.